everyone and first of all Merry Christmas! Today is Christmas and naturally it being Christmas means that I didn't sleep too much last night due to the excitement. However, this year I was the most excited I've ever been because this is the biggest Christmas I have ever had. What's happening right now is I'm in the car heading to Lyon in France because I am going to go pick up my new car. You guys probably already know by the title of this video that it's going to be a Lotus Elise. I am beyond excited. I cannot explain to you how excited I am. It's early-ish in the morning. It's about 10 a.m. We've been driving for a while. Beautiful countryside views around here. I'm with my mum who can't be in the video, sorry. <laughs> but she is here driving me. And I'm just so excited to go and have the whole sort of collection process. And as soon as I pick the car up, sorry, we've got Snoop Dogg, our GPS, talking to us there in the background. As soon as I pick the car up, I am going on a four and a half hour adventure by myself in the car, back down uh, towards Monaco. So yeah, really exciting times. I'm not going to bore you with the whole drive there because all you really want to see is the car, isn't it? So, cue the intro and let's get to this dealership. Long drive over then, and here we are. Look, lotuses, 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 lotuses. And no, that is not my lotus right there. Okay, you're now gonna be really confused. Why am I now standing next to a motorway? Well, the answer to that is, I went to the dealership and it was all a massive rush because we needed to get out there really quickly because I'm driving all the way back down to Monaco and I wanted to do it during daylight. We had to do all the papers, the license plate, everything. It was a huge, huge, huge rush. So I've driven a tiny bit up the road from the dealership in the car, literally a two minute drive. Um, and now I'm ready to show you the car. So here it is. Ta-da! This is the car, people. This is the little beast. That is my Lotus Elise Club Racer. So you'll be seeing loads more. I'll give you more, like I'll do an in-depth tour and everything. But just to show you briefly around the car, it's a matte black Lotus Elise Club Racer, which is really rare. I'm told only one of three in the country. Got the forged wheels, which I love. This car is used, only about 20,000 kilometers on it. So not too, too bad at all. But yes, literally just picked it up. I test driven it briefly before, so I knew what I was in for, but here she is, here she is people. You're going to be seeing loads of videos of this, I'll show you the interior as well, and I'll also show you how I've packed for this trip, basically. So, there's the interior, full Alcantara, all of this is Alcantara. Um, it's got, so it's got the bucket seats in matte black as well. These come in different colors, but it's the same color as outside. It's got the upgraded audio, um, new JVC thing, so it's got Bluetooth and everything. Alcantara steering wheel, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got the hard top, this one, which is really nice. However, it does mean that for this trip, it's pretty tricky because the boot, let me show you the boot. It's not very big. Um, if I open the back there, yeah, that's it. I've put one bag in there, and then you got the engine. And this bag is probably going to get really hot. Um, but that's the, the boot. And then I have put in the passenger seat my coat. That right there is the soft top for the car, which I'll put on during the summer. And another bag with camera gear and everything. But yeah, here she is, people. <laughs> Just comment down below any videos you want to see with this car. Just to give you a brief um, outline of the engine and everything. It's about 136 horsepower, four cylinder Toyota engine. Um, the car weighs under 900 kilos, I believe. So it is really, really agile. And that's what I wanted, really. I just wanted a little sports car. That was really good fun, but nothing crazy, specifically for running costs and insurance purposes. But yeah, no, I could not be happy. I think it's a little beast. I love the black on black look. I do have a couple plans here and there for things I'm gonna do to the car, aftermarket mods. Please also comment anything you would like to see regarding that. But uh, yeah, this was basically the collection video, effectively, of me going and seeing the car for the first time. Literally, like, I'm shaking of excitement because this is such a little beast. And from the tiny little bit I've driven it so far, I am just so, 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 so excited. I figured, why don't we hop in 
and get started. I'm going to drive it basically effectively for the first time because the test drive didn't really count because I barely, barely, barely got to drive it and now I've basically driven it two minutes up the road. So why don't we hop on in and I go for my first drive in this little beast. Okay, here we go then. I am in the car. Obviously. So, oh yeah, right. I've tried to turn the key, but it's a push ignition. Ho ho. Okay, my first conclusion, I'm gonna take my scarf off, of this car. First thing I felt is, this needs an exhaust. Um, ooh. Switch my music off. I've got my sat nav all set up and everything. Yeah! Let's do this, shall we? Into reverse, I'm like, electric windows, guys, and a Lotus, who would have thought? Here we go, try not to stall it, like Mr. Supercars of London when he first drove his car. It's true that the visibility is not the best in the world. And no power-assisted steering. concentrating on my speed. They just said there was a speeding camera and obviously I don't have cruise control because it's a Lotus. So yeah. Initial feelings is just this is incredible. It feels so like race car-y in the way the steering is already just so direct. Tiny little steering wheel. Oh man. Oh man this is cool. Loving this Alcantara steering wheel as well. It's nice first impressions of that um, but this, so this is it's gonna be a, a long trip this is it is true that there's nothing like the first time you properly drive your new car like I mean obviously I haven't done it that many times have I but this is unreal it's my baby this is my new baby okay so there you go you've got the first impressions really 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 quick first impressions I know of me driving the Lotus I'm gonna be doing another video that will be coming out maybe tomorrow or the day after I'm not entirely sure but very soon of this road trip so it's gonna be first road trip in the Lotus uh, and a full video of how my basically my first drive and this five-hour drive back down to Monaco goes so stay tuned on the channel and yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support you guys have shown me You've motivated me to be able to get this car and I just can't wait to share this whole experience with you. Comment down below anything you want me to do to this car, you think it's a good choice. I'm just, I'm just so happy, so yeah, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye! I'm about an hour and a half into the trip, they say, it says three hours and seven minutes left.